question number two. Um, let's see, what do we got? We have a lifeguard needs uh, needs a rope. A rope off a rectangular swimming area in front of a long beach. So a uh, rectangular. So he's only, he's got uh, what 1,600 yards of rope and floats. So what kind of a rectangle will maximize the area? What is the maximum area? Okay. So we've got this much, and we want to maximize the rectangular area in front of along the, the long lo, lake beach. So the first thing is, is noticing that a rectangle, I guess, you know, with the swimming, you go to the beach, what I'm going to assume, they don't, no, okay, the shoreline is one side of the rectangle, so we don't need any rope for the shore. That makes sense, right? So we really only need three sides. We'll call one side X, the other Y. And so we've got the perimeter, that 2X, right? X on here and here. 2X plus Y is going to be equal to um, the length of the rope, 1,600. And what we want to maximize is the area of this rectangle. The area of the rectangle is going to be just simply X times Y. And so the way we go about these is we solve one of, uh, this is a constraining function. We solve it for terms of one of the variables, plug it into the other, because we need to have a, a function that only has one variable. Okay, so the easiest one to solve here is to subtract 2x from both sides, at least in my view. Uh, subtract 2x. So we get that y equals 1,600 minus 2x. This is the part that we substitute in for the y over here in the area function. So now our area function is going to be x times 1,600 minus 2x. And that's what we want to maximize. So let's get to business here. Let's see, the length of the shorter side, the length of the longer side, the maximum area of this is that. Okay, so we want to write the expression. So up here, and they want us to use x as our variable, so I guess, you know, called it off pretty good. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and distribute the x through. So when I write it up here, it's going to be 1600x minus 2x squared. Okay, so that's our, that's our answer for that. Now, uh, let's go ahead and maximize this. So let's take our area. Let's get its derivative. And that gives us 1,600. And derivative of this uh, negative 2x squared is going to be 4, negative 4x. The maximum will occur where, and remember, this is a uh, this is a slope of a tangent line, so we get a maximum or a minimum. We don't, but in this case, we'll know it's a maximum whenever this equation equals zero. Whenever the the slope of the tangent line is zero, so then we solve this one. So let's subtract sixteen hundred. We get minus four x equals negative 1600 divide by negative 4 so we get that x equals 4 goes into 16 so negative and negative make it positive so that's 400 x should be 400 um, I'm imagining it'll be the shorter side but we, we could figure that out here right because then we take our constraining function 2x plus y equals 1600 and we plug in our value for x so we know x is 400. You can see that's going to be 800, so y is also going to be 800. But let's do the work. So 800 plus y equals 1,600. Subtract the 800. Sometimes we get so much into the, you know, the steps that uh, we just have to go through them y is 800, x is 400, there's two of those. So the length of the shorter side, well that is x, let's change here, that's x 
and well actually I think there's a drop there is this drop down menu I didn't look it'll it'll uh, let's see what are we supposed to put here 400 the length of the longer side is 800 what's the area well the area is x times y so is equal to 400 times 800 so that's 8 times 4 is 32 and there's 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros wow, that's like a lot of space it seems like, you know, three, 320,000 square feet nice size swimming pool uh, 320,000 and I, the drop down list here will be um, let's take a look I've got it here I haven't checked it yet so let's go ahead and check it too I, I, mean, I, I do this with each of the problems I don't always show you this part but I want to do this because I want you I, I need to see what's here to make sure that I'm that, that you're well I'm giving you the right way to enter it let's see what is this oh yards good I didn't know what this Oh, this is yards of rope, not feet of rope. That's yeah, even more. So this is this is yards, and the area is going to be in yards squared. Okay, so not too big, but um, I didn't want you to think I didn't know what I was talking about when I really didn't know what I was talking about. So then this is going to be square yards, 320,000, one, two, three. And that's going to be yards squared. Now you actually get a cubic area of water. They didn't tell us how deep the water is. Probably levels off, you know. So let's do a check and hopefully they. Well, it didn't like it all. What didn't it like? Yard squared. Didn't like something. 8 times 4 is 32. What did I get wrong? Let's see. Oh, 2x. Uh, I, everything I did was correct. I just didn't enter my answer right. So yeah, I see how this happens. So, um, you know, be careful. That's why I do check things. You know, if I if you got all of this, hey, I'm uh, I'm gonna assume you made the same error I did, right? That's why I do review these things. I say, okay, how could you get these right answers? And uh, uh, I, and that's why it's important. To give me your scratch paper. When I see your scratch paper, I would have looked and said, hey, little crow, he he had the right thing. He just got in a hurry. And so I, I can give you full points on that kind of thing. All right. Um, and I think we have you upload your scratch paper. Um, if not, I'll make sure that that happens because uh, it's so helpful. All right. That's question two. I'll stop. Of course, you can always fast forward and stop these when you want. Take care.